Hello, my crafty friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. This month, I have created a guest design team project for Renee Bouquets. I have created this lovely embroidery hoop. Before I begin this review, let me show you the paper that I used. I use the Prima Marketing Flirty Fleur paper. I absolutely love this collection. I love the teal greens and the charcoal grays, as well as the silver and holographic foil. This embroidery hoop measures nine inches in diameter. On the top, we have this beautiful floral spray that I've created using flowers from Rene Bouquet's store. And I filled it in with little tiny sprays and pearls that I had in my stash. If you look closely on this teal rose here, I have added in holographic glitter paint. And I've also used these beautiful moonstone glass beads these are the beautiful glass beads. This is called Moonstone. They come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. I've sprinkled them throughout the roses and the gardenias. For this embroidery hoop, I wanted to create lots of layers. In the back, I've used this gray and white striped paper. In front of it, I've used this beautiful floral paper. And you can see this beautiful rhinestone on this side as well as on this side. On top of it I've created this beautiful intricate frame. This is in a black shimmer. This is using a spellbinders frame. In the center I have this wonderful sentiment that says be a girl with a mind, a woman with attitude, and a lady with class. On either side of the frame I have included these beautiful butterflies. These butterflies are designed and produced exclusively by Renee Bouquets. This is called Chocolate Mint. On the right of the embroidery hoop, I have this beautiful Victorian mirror. I did line the inside of the frame with paper from the Flirty Fleur collection. And the focal point of this mirror is this printed beautiful doll. This is Autumn in Paris. I absolutely love this doll. She's got this beautiful teal gown on and this light, light pink shawl. I have embellished the mirror with these beautiful beads. This is called Citrus Breeze. Let me show you what these look like. You have these beautiful, beautiful colors, and they're in all different sizes. On the right side of the mirror, I have this little spray here in teal and ivory, and then I've added in more of the moonstone beads. Behind the floral sprays, I have the Rene Bouquet beautiful chipboard. I have these beautiful leaves and petals that are sticking out. And then we have another floral spray here on the side. Here is another view of these beautiful roses. This is her sea foam rose, and I've used glitterific paint. This is by Folk Art. It's hologram, and I simply attach the moonstone beads directly to the paint. On the bottom of the frame here, we have another butterfly. And finishing the bottom of this embroidery hoop, we have two beautiful trims. The first is this garden trim with the beautiful pearls. And then underneath it, we have this mint green ruffled tulle. I think that is so elegant and feminine. Let me show you the side. On the side here, you can see this beautiful silver metallic frame, as well as the dimension from the floral sprays and the four layers of the cardstock. Let me give you a closer look. Here is this beautiful floral spray. You can see the holographic specks on the flower, as well as these beautiful moonstone glass beads. I think that is so pretty. Here you can see the beautiful board, chipboard in the background, the rhinestone. We have a little dove here. And here's a closer look of this gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly. You can see the glitter glass on the wings. And here are more of the glass beads and sea breeze. And this is the paper that I used on the back. You can see that silver holographic foil. Now that I've given you an overview of this lovely embroidery hoop, I'm going to grab my material so that we can make this together. I'll be right back. I will be using a nine inch frame. The items that we will be using from Renee Bouquets include this printed beautiful board doll. This is Autumn in Paris. This 
beautiful board garden party Victorian mirror. These mint chocolate glitter glass butterflies. These beautiful board elegant accents. These sea foam roses. This winter rose and gardenia set. This garden bouquet lace as well as the bridesmaids lace and this mint tool. The paper collection that I'm going to be using is by Prima Marketing. It's called Flirty Flirt. The first thing we need to do is prep our embroidery hoop. I'm going to paint this with a metallic paint in silver. This is by Craft Smart, and I purchased this at Michael's. So I want to put a nice even coat around the perimeter of the embroidery hoop as well as the insides, and I'll probably have to do two coats. I've painted my embroidery hoop, and as you can see, it's got this nice metallic silver sheen to it. I also went ahead and cut out some paper to line the back of the embroidery hoop. This embroidery hoop, although it's a nine inch hoop, it is just about nine and three eighths inch when you include this outside rim here. So I cut out these circles on my Cricut. I have one piece of decorative paper and I also cut out this black and I lined it with the light chipboard backing from the paper collection. This will go behind the embroidery hoop and it will make it a bit more sturdy, as you can see. Alternatively, you can simply take the hoop and you can just trace around the embroidery hoop and then cut along the line. Actually, you wanna cut slightly inside the line. Now the first thing I want to do is glue down my decorative paper. You want to make sure you get the glue all around the edges. I'm going to place this on the backing so that everything lines up. Then I want to position the embroidery hoop over the top of the back piece. Make sure everything lines up. And we're going to put a bead of glue all around. I'm going to use hot glue just to make sure there's a nice strong adhesion. Just like so. I have attached the decorative panel to the inside of my embroidery hoop. And this is a back. Now we're going to begin adding in our layers. I've cut out a circle that's just about seven and a half inches wide. I have embellished it with this pretty rhinestone, which I think is a nice complement to the silver and holographic foil in the paper. And on the back, I've created dimension by adding in this cardboard. Now, let me show you what I've used to create the dimension. I've just taken a regular priority mail box and I've cut it into strips. I save these boxes because I think they work great for larger spaces when you need to create some dimension as an alternative to foam tape. So I'm going to add this circle right in the middle. So let's glue that down now. Let me show you some of the other elements that I'm going to be adding. I have this beautiful frame. This is a Spellbinders die and I cut this out in a shimmer black paper. So the sentiment, I purchased this from the Silhouette Design Store. I imported it into Cricut Design Space. I then flattened the image and attached it to an oval shape and then I did a print and cut, which I cut out on my Cricut Maker. On the back of it I have two layers and then on the sentiment I have also two layers. Next I have this beautiful board mirror and in the center of the mirror, I lined it with paper from the cardstock, and it has hints of this teal, roses, and a little bird. And then in front of it, I have this printed beautiful board, and this is going to go just like so. But before I attach these, I want to add in the trim first. I have these pieces which I've cut out to go on the bottom of my embroidery hoop. So I have this beautiful pleated seafoam green tool. And then I have this beautiful trim here with the pearls that's going to go layered on top just like so. And then I will be layering the rest of these pieces on top just like so. So let's start gluing the trim down first. Now I'm 
going to place the black frame in the center. Now I'm going to add in this mirror. I've already added in a piece of the board and I've added in various layers on the back of the mirror. So I'm going to place this right here. I've gathered some leaves and flowers and butterflies to begin decorating this embroidery hoop. I'm going to place down this beautiful board, Accent Vines, right here. I've cut out some vines and leaves. These are really pretty and delicate. To make these, I used a Spellbinders die called Romantic Vines. Now that I've glued down the larger components, I am going to speed up this video so that you could see my creative process and then I will be back with the final project reveal. completed embroidery hoop. I love the way it turned out. I have enhanced the flowers on the top using glitterific paint and then I added in moonstone glass beads. I think these butterflies are so beautiful. I've also added glass beads on the frame here. This concludes my review of this altered embroidery hoop. Hopefully I've inspired you with some new and creative ideas. If you're new to my channel please take a moment to subscribe and also hit that little bell so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now, happy crafting, and please be safe.